Hi everybody, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter team of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And I am shaking and I'm gonna spank my daughter Danielle because she made a video about putting on her makeup. And then of course she said to me, Mom, clients would like to know how you do your makeup, so why don't you do it? So I have been working on my list Wigs are so much easier, I've got to tell you, than makeup. So here is my list for what I do, and I'm gonna take you through it. So <laughs> full disclosure, what I do, okay? So I'm not an expert. Some of you might like some of these tips or whatever, but it's all up to you. Go ahead and delete me if you don't like it. Ah, so I'm going to start out <laughs> with my coffee that I always put some butter in it and some collagen powder. Isn't this cute? Someone gave me a Lady Godiva cup and I love it. I hear collagen is great for your skin and my husband's been using it for years and his skin, his hands, his face is gorgeous, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna try it too. So, I said full disclosure, I've got nothing on my face. And uh, the first thing I wanna say is yes, I have some Botox done. I have it done twice a year for my birthday in May and then holiday time and you give it about a week to really be complete. So don't go like the day before a big party you're going to. And I just have a little, see I'm frowning, I still have that line, I need a little bit more. But typically when I frown, I don't like seeing the line and it really helps with the lines, the crow's feet around the face. So I really like that, full disclosure, it's our secret. Shh. And um, I've got my earrings on. I've done any plucking. You know, I can't see great anymore. Danielle said to me, Mom, it's so easy. I just, it's a no-brainer. I go through what I do. But for me, <laughs> at uh, 66 years old, I've got a list of things and I kind of just jump around. But I have put the list together for you. So... I have felt and plucked. I have shortened, I've plucked. And the first thing is I always put my rings in my cleaner from Walmart. I love it. And this way, every day my rings, once a week, my necklaces or so, I just drop them in while I'm doing my makeup. So I love having clean, sparkly jewelry. I like to shine, what can I say? So the next thing is I have a 15 times makeup mirror and it's lit. So here is when I'm not lit up and it really helps. So it's regular on one side and then I twist it to really actually be able to see because I don't see very well at all with my own glasses. I mean with my own eyes. So the first thing I do, I've been using moisturizer for years, but lately I put some coconut oil in a little cup, grab it with my nail, and I, because I like a sheen on my face and it feels so much better and more natural, I try and get organic oil, but I am putting it all over and underneath. And I find that my makeup holds fine and it gives me a little sheen and it just feels more healthy. You know, some, many, many types of makeup that we buy have lead and things that aren't good for us. So I especially love putting it on my lips while I'm putting my makeup on and get a nice shine and get some moisture on my lips. So I'm not packing it on under my eyes and I'm just moving it all around and I do like to put some, I'll stand on my tippy toes right here, okay? So the next thing, while the coconut oil is kind of settling in, 
I love, like I said, shine. I got a thing about shine. So I use my Sephora. This is Sephora Radiant Drops for highlighting and the colors Morning Light. I'm going to show you where I put it. It's just this little bit and I put just enough on my fingers, sometimes a, a couple of dabs, but I like to go right where I would put highlighter, which is up and down the bridge of my nose and here and also right under my eyebrows. So I just love, it, it, it looks healthy. I don't care for matte makeup personally. I like the shine, it makes me feel younger, what can I say? So, and I love it so much, I'm gonna put a touch more on. But I'd rather go slow with my makeup I keep a towel with me and build how I want to build. The next thing I'm going to do, um, I love my Lancome makeup. So even though you just saw me put that coconut oil on and I could dab just a little bit, but honestly, I never do this with a towel. So my favorite makeup, and this is what I'm willing to splurge on, is the Lancome Makeup Renergy Lift, and I wear number 255. And again, I'll just say this once, you might think I'm crazy or weird with some things I do, but it's my makeup routine, so I'm sticking to it. So, I like using my fingers. So I'm putting like one and a half squirts, and I start where, if you saw, I have some rosacea, and I have a lot of discoloring. So I'm starting there and I'm spreading it around and the coconut oil really helps it spread beautifully, it feels silky. I'm making sure because my eyelids tend to be red looking. So I really work on that, you'll see what I'll be doing. But around my nose and a little bit under my neck. And I already feel better. It's like, this is the step that really starts to make me feel good. If I feel like I'm still seeing some red spots, I'm gonna put just a little more, especially if I'm making videos for all of you. And I'm just lightly dabbing. I should always go up, right? Up, up, up. Okay, that is my makeup, my foundation. Now, I like to put the concealer on after the foundation because I don't want to use a lot of it. It's thick and I do have lines and so I don't want any foundation or the concealer really settling in my lines. So you're going to laugh, but I love my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I get it at Walmart. The color is vanilla. And again, I'm on my pinky is where I use it. A little bit at a time and I'm going for the inside first very lightly. And I end up doing many things twice. I don't want to pack it all on. I should say I do want to pack it all on, but I'm going for a lighter look. It's more youthful. That's what we're going for, right? So right at my eye, my eye ducts and then around and I'm starting to brighten up under my eyebrows. Very lightly. And I am always going up and down my nose, and you'll see why. Okay, done with that. Next is my highlighter. I use uh, Sephora I Love. And let me see what that color is, if you end up liking this. It's called Light Cool Palette. And I correspond my one white eyeshadow pencil. It's got a little contour with my highlighter that I'm going to use. So this is what I use a lot of for just adding to the light 
at my eyelids and I take it all the way up. And again, I go light on everything because I can always build. And then I love, this is the whole reason I have this palette because I absolutely love lightening up right around my eye ducts. It just looks more youthful. And let me say, I certainly don't have the best answers about makeup, but I am on YouTube all the time watching. And I wanna share with you, and please let her know I said this, but I love 50 Plus Beauty. Her name is Beth, and I pick up so much information from her. And um, so, just love it. Anyway, I'm putting the highlight right here. I'm also putting a dab right down my nose and also right under my eyebrow. So I'm starting my highlighting and contouring with this. And I like to put a little bit of light up here. I'm learning that like painting a picture, our face is like dimension. So I never contoured and highlighted much before I really started watching videos and just learning and learning more about art. A lot of you know how I like to paint my girls. So I'll be going back to this, but I've got my highlighter going. Now, we're gonna start contouring the face, the face. So I use a few things. This is Wet and Wild Contour Palette. And I like it because it's this is a subtle color, but if you put too much on there, oh, you're gonna have some wild lines standing out. So again, I have a contour brush. I think I picked this up at the dollar store, honestly. And I'm just pressing. And then what I learned from a makeup artist is from your hair at your temple and make a little C and come out. So when I keep doing this and I'm learning. I can always add a little more, but it's, this is great to contour, especially when I'm feeling like I've got a few extra pounds on. You know how that is. Maybe, hopefully you don't, but just a little contour. I think you can see. And then I'm patting a little harder and I'm going to come down like a heart especially with my hair starting to thin here and the temples, I like to put a little deeper contour right there so you really, at least I think it doesn't show up as much. So it's all about me, right? So I also use this just very lightly, like just dusting right under my jaw because I do have, you know, all that stuff at 66. So. There we go, and the last place I love to use this is my nose. So I've been making those that white line in the middle, and now I'm just very lightly, very lightly. Do you see what that does? It's funny, when I watch newscasters and actresses, I'm not really taking apart their face, just like I'm not really taking apart their wigs, or let me say I wasn't, but now I look at everyone and I think, hmm, they look really great. So I look closer at the highlighter, I look closer at the contouring, and I'm definitely looking at their wigs and their hair, I should say. So that is my contour. Sometimes I use the lighter area and with a light brush and I'll make this even a little bit lighter. So, but I don't have that brush with me right now. Next, after contouring, I love, like I said, shine. I love a little bronzer. So this is Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I'm now using my blush brush. And again, just a little bit, but I'm running right over that contour line because I want to look uh, like I've been at the beach all day, right? So a little bit. I think I'm already ahead of Danielle in steps. <laughs> 
but that's okay. When she gets to my age, then we'll talk. So I put it around on my forehead. I love to put just a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And then I've got to get in there with my finger and I love having some warmth on my eyelids. And this kind of becomes my base for my eyeshadows. And maybe that's why I can wear, you know, as I'm doing this, why I can wear many colors of wigs because I'm putting bright, which is the cool white, and then I'm putting the darker, the bronzer, and you'll see, so I'm wearing lights and darks, and maybe, maybe that's why. So I could use even a little more in your honor. Thank you for watching, because I'll tell you, it is scary and vulnerable to do this in front of you, but Danielle and I are so committed. If it'll help and it gives you a giggle, then so be it. After my bronzer, now I'm going with NARS blush. And I'll tell you, I have, I have a drawer full of brushes and this is the one I'm on right now. And again, very lightly. So a little touch and then right at that little apple. Can you see that? And again, I've learned to be feathered. I used to have a really heavy hand, but it didn't matter when I was younger. Now, I don't want people to look at me and say, oh, she's got so much makeup on. So again, I put a touch of the blush right at the crook of my nose, and then just a little bit more around. If I'm really going somewhere, I will put foundation and I will dress up my neck, so to speak. But right now, the face is enough. I think that's all you can handle today of me. So, okay. Now we're going to go into my eyebrows. So I have no tail, if you'll notice. And this is just what I have learned to love. This is, again, wet and wild. It's called Mega Clear. And it's like a mascara one, but it's clear. It has a liquid, and I really like how it just sets my eyebrows up. And I have to say, this might be from the dollar store too, because I go there sometimes and I just splurge on any of the makeup and try it out. Or I go to Walmart, because there I can return anything I don't like. So brushing straight up. And I just love that. So this is something else I really love. This is my Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. And I'll tell you, I never wear ash in my life, but it really works for my eyebrows. So I love it because it has one side that is the brush, okay? And then the other side is retractable because I don't know about you, but I don't like sharpening uh, my eyebrow pencils all the time. So for this, I have got to go 15, 15 degrees of seriousness so I can actually see. Now, the one thing I learned from my girlfriend, Deborah, and we did uh, Deborah and Roe love champagne wigs she loves her makeup. Sometime I am gonna take you into her makeup area, you'll flip a lid. So what she taught me is start on the top. Like don't ever start right here because you're gonna to go too dark. You'd like the darker is better right around here. Looks more natural than a long line, long dark line. So what she taught me, let's see which way can I see, is to go backwards and I go backwards, downward. It took me, you know, a couple times to try it, but see how my eyebrows are not a long straight line anymore. It looks really natural, I think. And then when I get that the way I like it, then I make one thin, light little line underneath. And I could go a little darker, but <laughs> I just want you to see the difference right now. 
and I just love how my eyebrows, they get long, I clip them, <laughs> and I can show you if you wanna know sometimes how I do that, but I'm gonna do this one now. So I'm imagining, remember, I want to come up a little higher here, so that's normally where I start. And you know what it helps too? I'm realizing my elbow is right at my bosom, tight, and that kind of keeps my hand from moving too much. And I'm leaning more towards the top of my eyebrow, but I am going backwards and I still like it. And I'll make a little line there. And then I will go and create a little nicer line on the bottom. Still super, super light. I mean, personally, I don't like seeing a very clear line. It just, it doesn't look natural to me. My, you know, my opinion. And then I'm brushing up. And I like to see if I'm even right here. So I can see that I need a little more right on this side, really lightly. And if I make a mistake, okay, I just use my finger and clean it up. So there we are. I'm gonna come in a little bit more. Just very light. I love that backwards tip. Thank you, Deborah. Mwah, my baby. So there we go. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes, and I learned a great tip that I'm going to share with you. So Danielle and I, we love to curl our lashes. We use a lash serum at night before we go to bed. It's just something, not even sure what it's called. Well, this one is lash boost and so i just put a little line on each side before i go to bed and oh my gosh danielle's eyelashes and are great and i'm really happy with mine so what i'm gonna do before i use this and go any further with my eyes is i'm going to heat just the area where my eyelashes are going to go Okay, I want that hot. Hold on, let's see. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I went more than ten the first time and it kind of burned. So making sure I get in there really good and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And there we are. I go a little shorter the second time because the eyelash curler has already been heated. So back in, I feel it. One, two, three, four, five. I love myself the way I am. There's nothing I need to do. <laughs> okay, that's that. Hope you like that one. Now I'm going to line my inner eye. So if you can see, my eyes kind of droop downward. So I've learned to stop, not take the eyeliner all the way down, but stop like where the round part of my eyeball kind of ends. So Danielle has a phenomenal tip about closing her eye to line her eye inside, inside the eye. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I kind of put it there, but I'm leaning more upwards. I should say I'm leaning the pen upwards. Sometimes I want to do the under eye too, and for that, straight in, close my eye, and just run it up and down. But for this look, a little more natural, a little more daytime, I'm just going to line the top inner eye. Can you see the difference? It's very subtle. But I like it. Yeah, I like that. I like it what it does to my blue eyes and I think it's probably good for all eyes. And it makes my eyelashes look longer when I'm not doing the eyeliner on the outer part of my lid. 
So I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And now I like to just put just a dab more, just right up, not at the bottom, but up here, because that's going to kind of become my line for as I'm shading. Okay, I think we're making some headway now. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to use eyeshadow and then mascara. So for my eyeshadow, I'm back to I love if I want to have a subtle look. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to start in the middle color. My hands are clean. I'm using my fingers and I'm just, I play around with all these colors. So I'm just going to throw some color on. And when I'm starting lighter, can you see what's happening now? I actually have a halfway decent face starting. Yeah. Oh, I need coffee. Oh, by the way, butter in my coffee. Sometimes I put an egg yolk with a pat of butter, always grass-fed butter, and then I blend it in my coffee and that uh, healthy fat and the protein from the egg and the butter Many times that's my breakfast. It keeps me going until lunchtime, which is really good because I'm trying to drop some weight again. <laughs> okay, so making a little headway, I'm gonna go a little darker now and a little more on the outside of my eye. But you know, it's, it's so fun. This is girly. This to me, I get my, my little estrogen fix and I've learned not to s just slap the makeup on and go, but I'm enjoying being a woman, whatever age I am and however I look and whatever wrinkles I have, I still want to look like at the top of my game, whatever's possible for me, I'm willing to do. So I'm not feeling that's dark enough now. So I'm going to show you my, I love this one too, this is my Maybelline Nudes. And I love it because it's got all great colors, just fantastic. So I'm going to use, I have a great brush from Anastasia, a little harder on one end and then I blend with the softer end. So I'm just going to take a, and dab just a touch. I love this dark gray just on the outer rim and I'm just bringing it around. See how it's just a little darker? I'll take a little more. And this side. And then I'm going to blend with just this soft brush. It's great. And I try and blend colors. I don't always do it. That's sometimes where I will rush. But let's say I want to go even a little darker. I'm going to touch this black and just barely put it right on the corner. When Danielle and I used to travel and do shows around the country, we'd share a room, we'd put our makeup on in the bathroom together. It was so much fun. And in those days, I didn't do all these steps. So, um, honey, I love you, and I hope you're enjoying my video too and what you have to look forward to when you're in your 60s. Anyway, so I could go a little darker but I don't really want to. What I do want to do is I want to lighten up just above my eyelashes. But I don't have to. This is where I kind of just play around. If I'm doing videos, I am going a little more extreme or if I'm going somewhere nice and I know there's going to be pictures taken, then I'll go a little bit more. Or if I'm just in the mood to be a little more girly, 
Sometimes I'll even put some uh, glitter, pink or red glitter, just a touch right here. Because you know what, ladies? When you're in your 50s, your 60s and up, be whoever the heck you want to be. Don't be waiting for your daughter to tell you it's okay or your friends. Just, you know, I'm all about feeling good. It's my body. It's my face. <laughs> it's my imperfections. And um, so do what makes you happy. So sometimes in, I'm in the mood for more. Okay, now I am really excited about this eyeshadow. It's Maybelline. Danielle, in her video, Danielle loves waterproof mascara, but I do not like waterproof at all because I wanna be able to easily wash all my makeup off at night. So I found this Maybelline Sky High, and I always go for very black, darkest black, whatever. <laughs> I love eyelashes, so let's do it. And over the years, I've learned to slow down and get down at the bottom and work my way up. Instead of just the top, I just, I like to kind of push into it, especially all the effort I'm putting into growing my eyelashes. I want to see some darn long, dark eyelashes. So I love this mascara. I'm so happy with it. And under $10 bill. So how could that be wrong? So look at the difference. Even if you just do a little foundation blush and mascara, I mean, you saw me at the beginning. If I was going to wear my wig, wigs, <laughs> any wig, without my makeup, it would, you know, it would be fine. It would be okay. But for me, I want to feel as pretty as I can. And, you know, putting makeup on, it gives a woman a lift kind of makes you want to dress a little nicer, put your perfume on, and just feel good. Feel good about being a woman and looking the way you want. So I have to say again, I love this mascara. So for videos, I will put a lot of mascara on the bottom also. For this, I'm just going to just touch it mainly on the outer area and touch the side. I think I'm going to have to ask Deborah, but I think Deborah puts three to four coats of mascara on her lashes. She loves it. And so I listen to everybody. I don't poo poo anybody. I listen and then I might try it and then I make my own choice my own personal choice. So there we go. We're almost there. And I've got to look closely and make sure I didn't get any uh, mascara on my, on my shadow, on my eyelids. So, okay, I got a little bit, not bad. And I'll use a little brush I have a small brush just for cleaning up areas. If I got a little something there. And then I have a big daddy brush that I use too, just for wiping clean, nothing else, just to kind of clean up. So the way I feel right now, I'm, I'm kind of good. I think I could use a little more blush, so let's just do it. But you can see like this, and, Actually, let me put my lipstick on. And I want to show you another tip that I have. I grab these anywhere, the dollar store, wherever, and I know I'm like color-coded. So in this one are all my lipsticks I carry with me. This one has my gym membership and card when I'm working out. And the one I really want to show you that I feel is very important, the extra touches, like keeping your jewelry sparkling, 
is your eyeglass cleaner, ladies, and a nice little cloth. Again, dollar store, they're great. So I'm probably cleaning my glasses two to five times a day. Because to me, <laughs> I don't like when they have smudges on them. I don't think it looks pretty and I'm working hard to look pretty. So I'm going to put my, I will leave that, but that was a tip for the day. And now I am putting, I've got to wind this up. So I've got things to do and videos to make for you. So once I put my lipstick on, that kind of determines if I want more blush or not. And also, once I get the wig that I'm going to wear. And yes, I do layer my lipsticks, and I love this little guy. I don't know, anything that has shimmer and shine, I'm, I love. I love trying new ones. And can't forget my famous J'adore perfume. Oh, I love it. So now, let me just get my wig on and let's see if I need any more makeup. So for my hair, a bun very low. This loop is gonna sit here, the extra hair is right here, but if you don't have long hair, don't worry about the loop. So today I'm going to wear Kelly. Let me show you how I tuck this in. So this loop of my pony left side, and up at the hairline. Oh, I love this wig. This is Kelly in Champagne, although I'm not really showing you wigs today, but I just wanted you to see the finished product. And I really always take a look again after. Let's see which way I wanna wear Kelly today. Oh, I think I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so let's see. Do I need to darken my shadow? Do I need more blush? Do I need more lipstick? So this is where I would determine it. Um, I have, oh, my rings, my rings. If you've never used this jewelry cleaner, it's so great. The jewelry comes right out of here. I'm gonna rinse it real quick and show you. So good. And oh, my jewelry, it sparkles. And that just makes me feel that much better. So I want to thank you so much for <laughs> joining me. And uh, let me know what you think. And let me know if you have some tips that I could share with everybody else too. Okay? Thanks for watching. Mwah. Have a fabulous day, make it a good day, find something and be super happy. And the most important part of all this is our smile, okay? So send the love to everybody you know.